All right, these were both started on the 10th of June. It's now the 22nd of June. It's time to undock. The space hopper had some special treatment halfway through where it was turned, decarbonated, turned a few times to make sure it's well mixed. Let's see how we go. Okay, we're going to start with the West Novo. See what happens. Whoa. Good pop. That looks nice and fizzy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I know that. A lot of you guys make bread with us, but uh, I don't do bread, sadly. And I don't know if anything else to do with it other than put it in the compost bin or wash it down the sink. So it'll go in the compost bin. But uh, that's quite encouraging. That West Nouveau is encouraging. All right, let's get the space hopper. The last one was crap because I was very early doing that and not many people had done it at this point. So, um, right, this is the space hopper. Again, 12 days brewing and a turn halfway through to make sure it's all well mixed. My last one didn't come out very well. It was rubbish. So I'm really hoping this has worked this time around. Last time it didn't pop hardly at all, and it was all it was just basically the uh, thick press. Let's see. Oh, okay, good pop. And definitely a bit more fizz than the last time I did it. That definitely looks better than the last time I did it. It even smells nice. Oh yeah, much fizzier looking trub than the uh, the Nouveau. So it's a lot more liquidy than the new than the Nouveau. You can see. But um. Now to condition in the fridge. No cold crashes, I don't have the room. So I'm gonna condition these now for at least seven days. Possibly longer as I'm working. Uh, I'll tap them in six or seven days and we'll see how they are. Hmm, I have to do some rearranging here. Hmm, that'll have to do for now. Leave them for seven days and then I'll come back to them. <laughs> 